We're live. We are live. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Those of you who don't know who I am yet, you guys are missing out, by the way. Just saying. I am the world's greatest living artist. I am convinced that, like Kanye says, I am the savior of art. <laughs> I'm the savior of modern art, baby. <laughs> I'm just here to paint. I'm here to save modern art. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, modern art and stuff. All right, very good. Leave it to a Mexican to save modern art. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> What's up, people? You guys are in my studio. Uh, as you know by now, I don't play the humble card. And that's what I want to talk to you guys today, this Saturday, this morning. It's still morning where I'm at. It's not 11 quite yet. Look, guys. Be careful by playing the humble card. It's overplayed, by the way. The whole, the whole humility thing, it's overplayed, baby. Everybody does it. And I'm going to tell you guys. Most people do it very bad. It's overplayed. The whole humility card is no bueno. Now, if you're a naturally humble person, which is very rare. Now, I'm not saying this to offend anybody. I'm just saying. Oh, man, I'm going to sit down here. Being humble... It's a rare thing, guys. It's just a rare thing. Sorry about that. Most people that claim to be humble are not really humble. Now, I don't mean this in a bad way. I'm just saying. Just keeping it real. I'm just trying to keep it real. Oh, yeah. I got my Starbucks. Mmm. Just smelling it makes everything better. Mmm. -hmm. Look, guys. The whole humility thing is being overplayed. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. There's a reason why I don't like it. It stops you. It prevents you from going after more. It prevents you from getting more. Why? Why do you want more? Everybody does. We just, we just, we want more in different ways, right? We want more knowledge. We want more, some people want more um, discipline. Some people want more cash. Some people want more exhibits. Some people want more recognition. Whatever. People are like, I don't want more. No, do you want more. Everybody wants more. If you don't want more, you're not playing the game. Everybody wants more. It's just, it looks different. It looks different. Uh, more peace. You know, if you're playing the whole Zen thing, you probably want more peace. I hear you. You know, uh, you probably meditate more because you want more peace. Maybe you want less. Maybe you can be like, oh, no, it's just I want less, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but if you want less, it means that you have more of something else. So why am I saying this? Why, why do I sound so rude? Here's why, guys. If you're an artist and you're playing the humble card, you are hindering yourself. You should claim. You should claim what you want. So many people out there, man, I, see, I, I hear this all the time. I see it. I hear it. I did it. I don't like it. No bueno. No bueno. I talk to artists. I do coaching. As some of you guys know, I do coaching. And I talk to artists. And artists often bring out the humble card. I'm like, so what is it that you want for your career? Where are we taking this? Well, it'd be nice if... Oh, my God. No, please. I would like to... Oh, my God. No, please. No. This is what I want. And that doesn't have to be clear, like, like exactly this. But this is what I want. Like, if you want fame, you got to claim it, baby. You got to say, I want to be famous. If you want recognition in, a, I don't know, you want to be in, when people open an art history book, they find your name there in your face and you're like this, right? Claim it, baby. You got to claim it. If you don't claim it, it's going to be very hard to keep doing it. Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to reach those goals, when I say I'm the world's greatest living artist, it doesn't mean that I'm reaching those goals. It doesn't mean that. What it does mean is that I 
I can go to heights that I never thought it was possible for me. That's all it means. You know, when I say, man, I want to... When, 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 someone, when someone says... Uh, I mean, it's, it sounds stupid, but I'm going to say it anyways, right? Uh, when someone says, uh, I don't know, like in the movies, baby, you want the moon? I'm going to get you the moon. Of course they don't fucking mean it, literally, guys. It's not... <laughs> I gotta go get the moon. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> They're just saying they'll do anything for them, right? We know this. It's the same thing. Look, world's greatest living artist. Of course, I get it. I get it. I'm not saying that everybody else sucks and I'm the greatest. Or am I? I <laughs> know. What I'm saying is that I'm going to go to heights that I never thought were possible for me. That I never, I never thought were even available for me as an artist. So I'm the world's greatest living artist, right? It's a statement for me. It's a statement for me. So this is the reason I wanted to make this video, guys, because uh, people, people have been telling me, dude, why are you calling yourself the world's greatest living artist? It's so stupid. It's like blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, dude, it's stupid to you. It's true to me. You know? Yeah, but you got to be humble. No, that's true to you. Like, you want to play the humble card. I, uh, I'm sick of playing the humble card. I try that. It doesn't work. It keeps you small, you know. It's like going to a party and going like this. I'm like, oh hi, hi. no, dude, you got loosen up, go in there, dance. I don't know. I love that. Just be true to yourself. Yeah, like be true to yourself. And by the way, I think being true to yourself means to be out there. I really believe that. Uh, I think so many people are like, no, I'm, I'm true to myself. This is why, this is who I am. I'm reserved. I'm, 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 I'm quiet. I'm, you know, I, I totally get that. Like, like, but it doesn't mean that you're not extrovert, that you don't extrovert yourself into the world. Right? Some people are like, man, I'm not an extrovert. I'm quiet. I don't say, you know, that's why I don't do videos. That's why I don't do blogs and, and blah, blah, blah. You have to be an extrovert somewhere. This is a world where we have to connect, right? And I think that the reason why so many of us play the I'm, I'm not an extrovert, I, you know, I'm just more quiet, reserved, more humble, more humble. I don't say really much, you know, I just do my work and, I, and I'm quiet. And it's, it sounds romantic. I think that's why people like it. I personally think it sounds stupid, but I think it sounds romantic, you know. He was like, oh, it's romantic, right? It's like this, it's, it's romanticism. It's this idea of the underdog that just keeps to the work and doesn't say anything. And it's like a movie. Life ain't a movie, baby. Life, it's not a movie at all. The reality of life, man, it'll kick your teeth. Ow. Life is very, is very difficult. This is a difficult environment. The planet we live in, this planet, is a fucking difficult environment. It's difficult. You have gravity. First of all, first of all, you have to make your way here. Just imagine how many, how many, how many, how many uh, <laughs> What were the odds of you being here in the first place? You know, by your mommy and your daddy. What were the odds of you being here? Just, just, in the, just that. The math is impossible. Just on that side. And then, and then, okay. And then now you have to push your way into life, right? People are like, I'm not an extrovert. Oh, I, dude. When you were born, you were definitely an extrovert, right? X out, exit out there. Right when you were born, you were an extrovert. You just you're you're, you you you're making sense of things now. You're telling yourself that you're not an extrovert, so that you can, so that you can comply to the socialization of the world. Right? Everybody wants to live in a in a in in a, in a way. I think a lot of us are very confused. We want to live in a way where we where we don't claim our greatness. Where it's frowned upon if you claim your greatness, you know. It's, it's like, oh, that person's not humble. Oh, that person shouldn't be humble. Look at kids. Kids are humble. Kids draw something and the very first thing they do, it's like, look. You know, kids draw something and they're like, look. 
adults draw something, and we, we're like, oh, no, you come and find me. I'm going to be over here in my studio. It's stupid. It's, 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 we've been socialized to hold back. Kids, wh why do children draw something and the very first thing we do as parents, we, we exhibit it, you know? The first exhibition kids have, fridge, right? We put stuff on the fridge. The first, uh, anything, anything. You learn, you learn how to sing a song when you're a kid and mom and dad are like, come here, come here, Charlie, you know? Or come here, little Jose. Sing to the friends and family, right? There's a something going on with friends and family, and they're like, come on, sing. And then everybody's like, yeah. And then the little kid's like, all right, yeah, well, this shit, this feels good, right? This feels good. I can do something. People like it. They applaud. This feels good. And then when you get older, you're like, oh, stop being so, uh, um, what is it? I don't know what the opposite of humble is. <laughs> little Jose. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, you're, you're, you're not being humble. You're, 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 you keep it, you know, bring it down a notch or two or five notches down or whatever, right? Bring it down. You're not being, you're not being a team player. <laughs> okay, so you like to look at my draws and say if you like them, please. Oh, I like that. You know, so, so this is, this is what, what children do, right? Parents enthusiastically share, applaud, and, and push the child, especially the younger they are, right? They're like, just watch a toddler play guitar, you know? And everybody's like, oh, my God, a millions of views on YouTube, Right? Everybody's like, oh my God, yes. Oh, oh incredible, right? It is. It's a, it's a great thing. But if you're a 20-year-old playing guitar, the same song, everybody's like, uh, bullshit, uh, conceited, thinks he's all that, you know, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares, you know? And uh, so that's the problem. That's exactly the problem. So... What I, what I recommend for all artists out there is Voy a hacer uno en español ahorita El siguiente va a ser en español Ahorita lo voy a hacer The people have been asking me to speak uh, 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 In my native, my native tongue uh, Spanish uh, And I'm going to make some videos Because I think it's about time to make some videos in Spanish I talk about the same thing But it's going to be in Spanish Español, yeah Uh, so, you know, don't play the humble card, guys. Get out there. Don't. You don't have to act like an idiot, right? Because some people are like, oh, my God. It sounds like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, you don't have to. You don't have to be me. I'm too cool for school. Look at that. Look what I have on my, on my corazón. You don't have to be me. You be you. But get out there. Get out there. Do, do whatever it takes to get out there. Get In front of people, talk to people, shake some heads, kiss some babies. Look at politicians, man. Politicians are smart. They're smart fuckers, you know. They're like, oh my god, yeah, I'm going to run for office, and then they visit every city possible, every little town, everywhere. They're like, hey, how's it going? Shake some hands, shake some hands. I will do for you what nobody else will do, you know? Yeah, like they're very smart guys, man. It's frequently smart. But we don't we don't do any of that. I'm not saying act like politicians, but I'm saying look at their behavior. They run everywhere. They talk to people. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shake some hands. Shake some hands. Yeah. Hug some people. Kiss some babies. You know? Man, they're very, very uh, active is the word. Aggressive. It's another word. I love that word, aggressive. It's the only way people win things. You know? Uh a swimmer, a swimmer will beat the other, you know, I know they're competing against themselves, but will beat his or her time or other, you know, swimmers around because they're more aggressive. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the offense that wins, right? It's the offense. This is, this is why it, it, you need that, right? You need both. You need the male aspect 
of, of, of shit, right? You need to mail because it's it's offensive, right? It's offense. Well, not offensive, but it's offense, right? Uh, it's yeah, they blame the offensive, but also you need the female, right? You need the female aspect because the female aspect keeps you grounded, keeps you grounded. I know I'm talking about some esoteric stuff. It keeps you grounded. The, the, the female aspect is, is the art, artistic aspect of you. I believe that, that in order to be an artist, to truly be an artist, baby, you got to be open to your, females, to, your, to your female side. You just have to. The emptiness, right? That, but not emptiness as in how we know as emptiness. Emptiness as in power, right? Where, where things are born, where universes are born. They're born out of emptiness, out of no thing, right? If you don't believe me, those of you who read Bibles and whatnot, uh, be still, right? Empty, still. Be still and know that I'm God, right? Still, empty. Uh, holy, right? Uh, if you look at that word, man, it's, it's such an interesting word. Hollow, right? When someone's like, oh, hollow be thy name. Hollow, hollow, hollow. If you look at the word, if you look at where the word comes from, it's empty. Ah, oh, I get goosebumps. It's empty. It means empty, right? Something is hollow. Something is, is it comes from whole, from whole. When something is whole, you know how we change and then it's like it's, it keeps changing. I was looking at that word a couple of years ago and I was like, oh, man. No wonder why they call saints holy. They're empty. Like Forrest Gump, they're empty up here, right? They're what's another word? Uh, egoless, right? They're egoless, like children. Children, children are empty here. This doesn't mean that they're not smart. I'm, I'm, I'm saying that they're empty. They don't have a sense of I am this, and I should, you know, I, I, I'm going to be this. And I'm going to hold on to this. No, children are like, I'm playing with this. That's gone. All right. Well, I'll cry for a little bit. Get up. Go do something else. Right? Children are very, uh, they go with the flow, baby. They go with the flow, you know. They're like, I'm hungry. Wah! They start crying. And then they're, they get fed. And they're like, yeah, you know what? Now I want to sleep. Yeah. They go to sleep. Right? And they're like, now I want to laugh. For no effing reason. I just, I want to laugh. That's that's what I want to do right now. That's children, man. And we, we don't do that. We don't act as children. Man, that dude, Jesus, he was on to something. I think we just, we didn't listen to him. We all claim we listened to the guy, but I don't think we listened to him. I think he was on to something. Anyways, don't mean to offend anyone with this stuff. I'm just trying to say, look guys, attack life. Attack life. Be aggressive. I see little kids, man, they're aggressive. They're like, it's mine. You know? It's not until we're like, no, learn to share and bullshit like that, right? That they're like, okay, well. But they, they need that, right? They need the, it's mine. I'm, I'm claiming it. I need it. I want it. It's, for, it's my survival. Son espontaneos. Muy, 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 muy verdadero eso. You know, they're, they're, they're spontaneous. Children are spontaneous. Look at, look at how they paint, how they draw. Uh, Every esoteric move, every agnostic or whatever you want to call it, it's all to do with you were born a child, you grow, and if you mature, you're granted childlike uh, life, right? This, this, this is why Jesus, Jesus used to be, be like children, right? Be like children. He wasn't. He was talking to old, grown men. Be like, be as children, right? Be like children, children, children. Why? Because they don't have a sense of self. They don't have a sense of identity. They're not socialized. They don't. They, they haven't. They haven't. Uh, in other words, they haven't taken the apple, right? They haven't taken the forbidden fruit. They haven't taken the apple, the forbidden fruit, whatever whatever fruit you want to put there. It could be a banana if you want to. It doesn't matter. It's just an explanation. It's just it's just an example. They haven't come to an ego state of mind, right? Look at children when they when they when they're growing up, what do they say? When they're little, what do they say? They don't refer to themselves as their name. I remember my son when he was little, you know. He didn't refer to himself 
as he, he didn't say I'm hungry right he didn't say I'm hungry it was split because identity and true self they know that it's such a fucking beautiful thing man it brings tears to my eyes yeah to this one they know that he, he I remember him telling me Daniel is hungry as if he's talking about someone else right Himself and his identity, his his role in life, right, Daniel. Just think of this: how 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 beautiful this is. It wasn't connected, right? He was not. It, 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 there, there was there was a, a, and people strive their whole life to become that, right? They call it non-duality, monks. Any religion, everybody strives to become that. But we're born like that. That's a funny shit. We're born like that. You know, it, it, it's not like, I am Daniel. No, it's like, no, no. I am, I am I. Right? But this idea, you call me Daniel? That dude's hungry. Oh, my God. You know? Talk about truth, man. Talk about poetry. You guys are poets? Write something about that. Man, it's just... Yeah. Way out there. Because yeah, there's no identity. There's no... As I go in Shana's, there's no identity. There's no... There's no... Uh, no link. Right? It's not... It's uh, what many religions call the the, the... the unity later on in life. Right? Where you unite the... The... Um... I know I'm going to, into some other shit right here, but uh, they call it the wedding. I think Christianity and it calls it the big wedding. Uh, in other religions, it's called the marriage or the, 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 the unification, the oneness. It's 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 the marriage, right? Of realizing that I I can't even say because I I'm not, not my, my my ass is not realized, but I can. Uh, touch on it, especially when I paint. But I is not separated from is, right? Is and I are the same, are one and the same. This is what, if I don't recall, I used to love theology. St. Paul talked about, uh, in Christianity, St. Paul would say, uh, we are one, right? Uh, or Jesus would say, the Father and I are one. He's talking about oneness, man. Those guys were... It's like very cool shit. Anyways, I mean, not cool as in cool, but the realization of that, man. Yeah. That's what everybody strives for. When people are like, oh my God, I felt so much peace. Of course you did. Maybe you were one with it. Uno. When I paint, oh man, that's what I feel. I'm like painting. I'm like, oh shit, man. I'm like, little moments, right? It's like, I, shit, I wish, you know, I wish it was longer, but little moments. I'm like painting. I'm like, and it can only happen when you don't think, right? That's why they always put the Buddha like mm, mm, sitting there, or they put uh, Jesus always looking. If you see the paintings, the old paintings of of, of 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 Jesus or the saints, look at them. They're looking into space. It's not heaven. Oh my God, I'm going into deep waters here. It's space. It's whole, right? Nothingness, no thing. So they're they're what 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 they're implying. If you see those paintings, what they're implying is that they're going. They're, they're, they're going into space. Not as in, as in a regression of awareness, but as an expansion of it. They're going into space. Not space as in, no, 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 not, oh, I'm talking about space, this, nothing, right? That's why, that, 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 that's why when, 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 when he talked to, 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 to the other guys, it would be like, lift a rock or lift a, 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 a anything, and you'll find me there because it's space, right? It's, it's, in, it's everywhere. It, uh, one of the best books, man, out there. If you guys ever have a chance to read that, uh, the Gospel of Thomas is one of the, what it's called the Apocrypha, one of the Apocrypha books. Man, I'm getting to deep waters here. I didn't start out this morning like this. And he talks about that, right? He talks about being the kingdom being, the kingdom being this space, right? This awesome space. This emptiness. But not emptiness as we understand it, because emptiness, we're like, ooh, emptiness. No, emptiness is... is is a is a no thing, right? It's, it's empty. 
is the is the unborn. Anyways, that book, man, that book is awesome. Yeah, that book is awesome. It talks about that. It talks about the kingdom being in, out, everywhere. It's like talking about the Force and Star Wars. It's very deep. I, re- I highly recommend that if you're an artist, I mean, I'm not trying <laughs> to gear you off of your own beliefs, but I highly recommend adding that to your... To, and, 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 and to read it, to read books like that without thinking about them. Because if you start thinking about them, you're not going to catch the message. It's just like painting. Uh, the Gospel of Thomas. El, 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 how do you call it in Spanish? El Evangelio de Tomás, libro apócrifo. El Evangelio de Tomás. I love that because it, 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 it's like... I read it. I read that book, and I read another book called the Tao Te Ching. Some deep stuff. Some deep stuff. When I was reading that, I was reading the same at the same time the Gospel of Thomas. And when I went to paint, I recognized what they were talking about. I could just, I could just feel that little thing. You know, I could feel that little thing of of every time you don't think. You actually paint. It's a very interesting thing. Every time you don't paint, you actually you you actually you're actually painting. This is what Degas said. Edgar Degas, the famous uh, impressionist, I get, right? we can call him an impressionist painter, the guy who did the ballerinas. He said, <clears throat> "When I don't know what I'm doing, when you don't know what you're doing, you're actually doing your best work." He meant when you don't know, when you get this bullshit out of your head and you actually start working, is when you do it. Picasso said, if I could just remove my head, meaning my mind, not physically my head, if I could just remove my mind, right, he would create better works. Raphael said, if I, when, when one paint, one does not think. Raphael, not the Ninja Turtle, but, you know, Renaissance art master, Raphael. This guy's knew that. These guys knew that. They knew it, baby. Manet, Edward Manet said, paint as fast as you can. One true is all, only one thing is true, he said. One, one, one thing is true about art. He was talking about art. Only one thing is true. Paint as quick as you can, whatever you see, right? What you see, paint as quick. Why? So that you don't let thinking inside. Ooh, baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm, t- I'm sharing with you guys some deep esoteric shit here. Jose, I just got a sale and a commission. Listening to you has been good. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just study any artist. Man, these guys were prophets in their own right. Shitty lives, just like you know most people. Right, everybody's having a hard time with their life in one way or another, whether it be emotional, an illness, or it's usually emotional. It's usually emotional. Hey, 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 hey. We're, we all act like we have our shit together, right? But it's usually emotional. And uh, about, but these guys were able to tap into, you know, this is why Monet said, I wish I could, you know, if I could paint as a bird sings. People are like, oh my God, yeah, beautiful, right? The word is beautiful. No, no, no. Just dig in a little bit deeper. If I could paint as a bird sings. Just a little bit deeper. If I could paint with the same naturalistic, right, way. If I could paint as natural. As natural. Because the bird naturally sings. It's natural. It's, 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 it, it doesn't try, in other words. If I can paint without trying, is what I get out of that. If I can paint without trying, you know. If I could just paint without trying. That's the goal, baby. If you can paint without trying. I know a lot of people don't like this message, but man, if you're painting and you're trying, you're still learning. You're not painting yet. I promise you that. You're still learning. I don't care if you've been painting for 50 years. If you're trying, you're still learning. You haven't hit that place yet. I started hitting that place, and I'm not saying this out of... Uh, uh, this is a... This is a as one of my favorite authors calls it, this is a quality statement. <laughs> Learning how to paint was very painful for me. It was a lot of hours, 
lots and lots of hours until one day I started giving giving up and not giving up as in I'm giving up painting giving up my thoughts this is why many religions use the whole kneeling thing right this is why they kneel many religions uh, I believe a couple at least at least a couple of them refer to themselves as the, come from the word surrender right and, and all of them use sur- the word surrender in one shape or form one way or another all major religions use, use a form of surrender in either in their prayers or in their explanation of how to achieve that state, right? That, that heaven or, or God-like or whatever. They use surrender. When I painted for about 14 hours, 16 hours, sometimes a day, I did. You know, I would just sleep, get up, paint, sleep, get up, paint. This happened for years. Uh, and I'm sharing something personal here. I, I, it was very painful because I, I had a, a massive anxiety attacks. This is one of the reasons why I would paint so much so that I could rock myself, right? I didn't, I didn't use medication. I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. I just, I, I had a lot of anxiety. I, had, I don't know. I, it, it, well, I know where it came from. It was from excessive thinking. Those of you who are going through that, you got to stop thinking so much. Uh, but when I started painting, right, for long periods of time, it came with massive amounts of pain, like psychological pain, because it has to be right, you know. It has to be good, and on and on and on and on. And after I did it for so many hours and, and years, hours and years, hours and hours and hours and years, right? Uh, not two or three years, guys. <laughs> After I did it like that, uh, something started happening. It was almost like, ah. Oh. I started discovering something, and I, I couldn't master it until recently I began to master it, but I started discovering something. You're supposed to not give a fuck. You're supposed to not give a fuck. This does not mean that you don't care what you're doing. This means that you keep doing it but you quiet this. And the way to quiet this is to not mind it. You're supposed to just not give a fly fuck about it. This will help you become a better artist. I promise you. I don't care what style you paint. I don't care what you do. If you just don't care. If you use the I don't care. You can even use it as a mantra. Or as a prayer or whatever you want to call it. When you're painting, tell yourself. Oh, this doesn't mean anything. Meaning it doesn't it doesn't matter. I don't care. Oh, the color, yeah, yeah, but I don't give a fuck. Keep painting. Oh man, you got the eye. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that eye either. Yeah. What you're doing is that is that you. It's not that you don't care. Is that that you're not giving it space. It, it, it's like a fire. You gotta you gotta you gotta drain it from oxygen, right? Oxygen is thinking. Drain it from oxygen, so the fire will go away. The same thing. Uh, when you're painting, drain yourself from thoughts. One way to do that, one surefire way, I'm, I'm just throwing it out here. I, I might even do a full workshop for you guys because I know, I know about 99% of you guys out there have this problem. I've talked to just about every artist has this problem. Uh, I don't care. You paint and you're like, you, can, you don't have to say, I don't, I don't give a fuck. You don't have to say that. I say it because I'm cool like that, right? You could say, oh, I don't, I don't mind this. Oh, or you could be like, it does not matter. Look, just think about the words, how esoteric they are. Just think about the words. It does not matter. In other words, it is not matter. It is not form. Oh, can you get more esoteric than this? You can't. It's pointless to keep talking at this point. <laughs> it does not matter. It does not, right? Create, construct, form. There is no form. It is formless. Just look at the beauty of that. It is formless. Remember when I was talking to you guys about, about hollow, hall, holy, being hollow, hollow be thy name. Formless be thy name. Oh my God, I got to stop this. I'm going to cry. Anyways. Guys, when you're painting, do that. When you're painting, do that. Practice that. 
I'll give it to you for free. I don't, I, I'm going to make a workshop anyways. For those of you who are like, I need step by step. I'll give you step by step. <laughs> but it's, 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 it, I, I allow for, for everything to go wrong. It's okay. When you're painting, allow for everything to go wrong. You know, I, I, it's so funny because I started this video by saying, uh, stop playing the humble card. <laughs> and then I jump into this. But yeah, guys, I'll, 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 I'll tell you guys again. Look, don't play the humble card. It's not, it's not healthy. It's not healthy. Claim your throne. Claim your, claim your greatness. If you don't talk about how great you are, chances are it's going to be very difficult to achieve it. It's going to be very difficult to achieve it. Because there's so much. The reason why I'm saying this, guys, it's not so that you become this egotistical you know, ugly person. Of course, you're not going to do that. You're, you're, you're a good person. That's, that's not going to happen. The reason why I say this is... Uh, oh, thank you. Yes, can't wait for the workshops. Yeah, I got workshops for all kinds of stuff. I, I, I feel like I'm the only artist who's going to do a workshop on this, on this specific subject because uh, I have the experience, you know? I feel like other artists are like, yeah, we'll paint. But I'm like, no, there's, there's other shit that's, go that's going on that's preventing people from reaching their goals. I know it. I've been painting full-time, nonstop, for hours and hours for over seven years now. And I know the challenges. I know they're real. I know what they are. I know what they look like. I know I can sniff them a mile away. You know, one of those challenges, one of those challenges is the, the self-belief. You have no belief in yourself. It's very difficult. A lot of people are like, oh my God, I have so much imagination, so much creativity, but I can't get, I can't seem to get started. You know, I have all these ideas, but I don't have time, dude. If you're using the card that you don't have time, I'll tell you. It's because it's not important to you. You will do the things that are important to you. We, in this life, we only do our musts. Okay? We do the things that are the most important to us. We, we, you sleep. You have time to sleep. You shower. You eat. You go to the bathroom. You have time for that. See, we do our musts in this life. If painting is not in there, it's not a must for you. And it's okay. You just got to confront the beast. You got to face the beast and say, okay, well, painting's not a must for me. Cool. Don't feel bad about it. Make it a must if, if you want to make it a must. But realize that it's not a must so that you can set yourself free. Uh, if you're not selling your artwork and you're not, you know, it's, it's not a must. It definitely is not a must. This, this, was something, this was something hard for me to swallow. When I didn't sell my artwork, I had to realize and confront the beast, right? I'm not selling my artwork. Oh, okay, well, this shit's not a must for me. Because I, I go to the bathroom at least once a day, sometimes twice. <laughs> I, I eat. I, uh, I sleep. I sleep at least seven, eight hours. You know, I'm like, oh, I sleep. That's a must, right? It's a must for me to sleep. It keeps me alive. It's a must for me to take my kid to school. It's a must. It's not a, it's, it's not question. I don't question that, whether he's going to go to school or not. It's a must, right? It's a must for me to do certain things. When I realized to work, right, to bring a paycheck, it was a must. It wasn't a, well, let me see. No, shit, that's a must. I got to bring the paycheck home, right? When I realized I didn't sell my artwork, it's because I realized, oh, oh, shit. This is not a must for me. It is not a must. It's something that I want, I wish, that'd be nice. Oh my God, it would make me feel so great, but it is not a must. And if it's not a must, it's not going to happen. This is where people turn me off. The people, I turn off people and people turn me out. Because, because I'm, I'm talking about something very painful. It's very painful to accept. But hey, I'm not just the world's greatest living artist, baby. I'm your doctor. <laughs> we got to confront these beasts. If it's not a must, it's not going to happen. People only do their musts. People that use, that use uh, abuse and use and abuse drugs is a must for them. It's not a question. It's not a matter of question. It's a must. People that drink, you know, that have this uh, problem, uh, this huge, tremendous challenge. I grew up with someone uh, who had that challenge. Uh, it's a must. There is no, well, I'm not drinking today. No, fuck no. I'm, I'm getting shit-faced today. It's a must. It's not, you know, maybe they don't want to, but it's a must. Right? It's a must. Uh, today, painting for me every day, it's a must. I don't want to every day. 
Just like the person who drinks doesn't want to drink every day. Right? They don't want to, but it has become a must. I must do it. Right? It's, it's something that needs to happen, whether my body or myself or my mind tells me. I need to be there. It needs to happen. So you have to make, what are your musts in life? You have to, you have to confront that, that monster. Because it's a monster, right? It's a monster. It's a beast. You have to confront it. it it's scary. That's what I'm trying to say. It's scary. What are your musts? Uh, being faithful to your spouse. Uh, being, uh, you know, wh where are they? Are they just bare minimum or are they just fucking ridiculously high? Right? What are they? One of my mentors has a has a a, a gold stream uh, airplane for their for his family, right? That's a must for him. It's not a must for me, but it's a must for him, right? So it's different for everybody, right? For me now, uh, m making a living as an artist and, and and getting X amount of income is a must. It's not like, well, it'd be nice. No, it's a must. I got to pay I got to pay a studio. I got to pay people that help me package my artwork and I, you know, now I'm, I'm bringing someone else in. I'm bringing marketing in. I'm bringing two I'm bringing two people for marketing to help me in my marketing. Uh, we're going to we're going to create a marketing department here in my art studio. That's a must. It's no longer, oh, that'd be nice. No, like I hit the place where it's like, oh shit, this is a must. If if it doesn't happen, I won't grow. Right? I won't grow. My studio won't grow. My message won't grow. It's a must. I need to make it happen. So anyways, guys, confront the beats. And those of you who are like, dude, I'm waiting for your workshops. Keep watching because the workshops are coming. They're coming fast. They're going to start coming. And they're going to be videos like this. But it's going to be, uh, they're going to be uh, step by step. And I'm going to guide you guys. They're going to be guided workshops. So that you guys start, uh, I don't know, there's going to be different workshops. You guys start looking at what you know works for you maybe you just want to learn how to paint loose right i have a workshop for that how to draw loose i have a workshop for that how to get your mindset right i have a workshop for that how to prime your day right how to prime your day how to get your day you don't prime your day you don't write your goals down you don't do certain little things you know i don't know maybe you pray who knows maybe you go out for a jog you got to prime the day you don't wake up and start listening to the news, dude. Your day is dead. Unless you're new, unless you work in the newscast or some. I'm not saying don't stay informed. I'm gonna use the same cliche everybody says. Don't, I'm not saying don't stay informed. Don't be a, a, a participating member of society and on and on and on. Of course, extremely important. I do that. I do that with my wife. We 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 do that a lot. Yeah, I would say a lot. Uh, but that's not my go-to. And and I and I advise my wife from time to time because you know sometimes sometimes uh, sometimes that can be her go to. She's she's very active in in in, in, uh, in the community. And that's not my go to. I don't wake up and I and I and I'll find out what the new president's doing. I don't wake up and find out what what's going on or what 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 who got shot in in the parking lot. You know, I, I don't I don't wake up and like I'll find out about it. Right? I'm like, oh, okay, well, you know. It's horrible, right? But I don't, I don't, I don't wake up to that. Because if you wake up to that, if you wake up to that, it's 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 your primer, right? It's your primer. What what are you putting in your mind as soon as you wake up? If you if you wake up and you turn on a cigarette, it, it's your primer for your health, right? It's very different. Two different lifestyles. Someone wakes up and and you know smokes a, a cigarette or. A, or or, 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 or smokes weed it's a very different whatever right it's a very different primer than someone who wakes up has a fucking uh, uh, healthy breakfast or one of those you know green shakes which by the way I don't do I should do and goes out for a jog it's a very different life right they're gonna have a different life so it's a it's a, it's a different outcome it's a different day also, not just a different life. Of course, it's a different life, but it's going to be a different day. So, I'm going to get you guys sit with all of these uh, workshops, and you guys can pick and choose. Uh, I'm also ordering my posters because remember, guys, in my old my older studio, we had these posters. How's it going, Megan? How's it going? Good to see you here. I I love Megan's work. Megan's an awesome artist, guys. Megan underscore Cardi underscore Art. Guys, you guys, you guys need to go uh, check out her art and please follow, 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 follow. Uh, yeah, I'm having uh, these uh, posters 
delivered soon. And this poses our reminders. Remember I used to talk to you guys about in my old in my older studio, I had posters that were that were reminders like 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 stop you know stop uh, procrastinating, get to work, uh, different stuff, right? Well, in my new studio, I'm gonna be post I'm gonna be putting these posters where they're gonna be big. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prime my day with with different posters and different stuff. Uh, I'm still setting up the studio. This place right here is going to be a, 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 an exhibit area. Oh, look, guys, I have a loft up there. That's where I'm recording my workshops, baby. Yeah, and podcast. So, by the way, these this big paintings are awesome. I just got invited to uh, American Artist something. They want that one. I'm like, yeah, baby, let's do it. Let's do it. It's only, hey, hey, it's only $9,200. Whoever wants it. If you guys want it, $9,200, uh, I won't send it to them. I'll send it to you. It's an homage to Rembrandt. Night watch. Anyways, guys, you, you got to, you gotta, this, this is where we're packaging. Those of you guys who haven't seen, this is where we package the paintings. This is where Megan's working. This is where my wife is still working. And, 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 and up there, because it's, it's pretty big, notice, it's a pretty big area. Part of that is going to be for the podcasts and the, the workshops, for the video workshops. And the other one, I'm bringing two people for marketing. I'm bringing two, two people for marketing. Those two people, man, this, I, I'm not going to say his name, the, the first one that's coming, but... This this guy, man, you guys you guys are gonna love him. So, I'm I'm doing all of this stuff to just record as I'm doing as I'm growing. Record, record, record. That's my drawing room. You guys can see it. This is this was a selling point for my studio, right there. I well that wasn't the selling point. I I bought that and I put it there, but it was a uh, it had it has a yard, it has a fence a fence yard. So that's what I wanted. But uh, I'm, 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 I'm doing all of this, guys, to, to show you guys, look, it's, it's a process, right? We all have this process. We all have this thing. And I think it's a shame that artists out there are not recording the process. They're only, like, showing, like, oh, me painting in my easel. But show, show the pitfalls. Show the highs. Show the lows. Like, sometimes I have a high. Sometimes I'll... I'll sell a painting for 10K, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I sold a painting for 10 grand. And then I'll be like, oh, my God, I auctioned something, and it went for a dollar. And I'll boo-hoo about it, right? So it's, it, you got, it's the highs and lows, right? It's the highs and lows, and, and how do you work through it? And I think that's awesome. It's, it's important that other artists see this. And when I started doing this, people started asking me, dude, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you stay focused? How do you uh, sell online? Do you do exhibits? What do you do? You know? So exciting. It is exciting, Megan. Thank you. Uh, what do you do? And I was like, oh, well, I started talking to people. And then it went into, like, a little bit of coaching, right? Now I'm doing a little bit of coaching. Uh, by the way, guys, those of you who are like, oh, man, 150 bucks is too much for one hour. Sorry, it's 300 bucks now. <laughs> it's going up, baby. So if you don't catch it, I don't know. Maybe when you're ready to be coached, it's going to be 1000 bucks an hour. By the way, I do get coaching from other people, and it is a thousand bucks an hour from some of those guys. But it's worth it because you know certain things that you need to learn. Uh, but no, I'm still at three hundred bucks an hour. Yeah, which just went up a little bit. So, anyways, guys, look. The reason why I started doing all of this is because I wanted to record my process, and then people started asking me. So I went into coaching, a little bit of coaching. I don't do a lot of it because uh, I, I need to stay focused on my artwork. Uh, but I was like, oh, man, how can I help more people without taking so much, right, so much on my day? Because I need to paint. I need to get exhibits. I need to talk to art dealers. I need to talk to gallerists. I need to talk to interior designers. And I, if you don't talk to them, it's not going to happen. You need to physically, right, get out there. And uh, so I was like, dude, why don't you get the topics that you talk about and you actually show them how you're doing it? And then it was like, 
So that's one of the reasons I'm bringing, uh, well, I can't do most of the marketing by myself anymore. So that's one of the reasons I'm bringing two people. But one is coming very, very soon. And, and it's exciting. It's exciting. You need a team. That's what I was talking to you guys about. Look, you need a team. Very soon there's going to be five of us here. And, and I can't wait till there's a hundred of us. Literally. Literally. I can't wait till the, I have a hundred people helping me push this. Get it out into the world. There's, there's so much I want to share with the world, not just artwork. There's, there's philosophy. There's my, the way I see the world. There is uh, uh, how I deal with things, right? How I deal with things, how I dealt with anxiety. There's d- different stuff. How, w- how I stop smoking, right? Some people are like, oh, my God, like, did you cool turkey? No. I only tried stopping about a few thousand times. That's how I did it, right? <laughs> I tried stopping a few thousand times. Uh, how I'm getting my ass into the gym. Oh my God, did you just decide one day to go into the gym? No, I decided about a thousand times. I just didn't stick with it, right? And now I'm sticking with it. So it, it, it's push, right? It's push. I don't, I don't, I've, nothing I've ever done has come easy to me. I don't know if it's the way I think or if it's just the reality of life, but nothing I've ever done has come easy. It's always come with a tremendous amount of push of Go hit it, fail. Go hit it, fail. Go hit it, fail. Okay, hit it harder. Okay, a little bit up. Okay, hit it twice as hard. Okay, a little bit up. Right? It's always a lot of push. You know, when people are like, oh my God, you sell artwork on on YouTube or on Facebook? Yeah, you sell artwork on YouTube? Like people actually buy stuff from you on YouTube? I'm like, yeah. How many followers do you got? I ain't got that many followers, but I'll tell you something. I have 1,300 videos on YouTube. Right? So every time I post a, a, a video on YouTube, someone sees it. You know, at least 10, 5, 30 people, 100, 1,000. Some of them have hundreds. Uh, no, not hundreds. Some of them have like, I don't know, like 80,000 views. Like, I don't know who's going to show up. So because I don't know who's going to show up, I'm going to show up, right? So it's always been some sort of push. Anyways, guys, I'll leave you with that. Peace. Peace to everybody. Be cool. And uh, stay motivated. Stay moving, okay? I got to get to work. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.